Hello everyone, my name is Artem. I'm the team lead for Serratus, the ultra-deep search for novel coronaviruses. The SARS-CoV-2 virus responsible for COVID-19 is believed to have arisen from a recombination between a bat and a pangolin coronavirus. This recombined virus can bind human ACE2 receptor and infect people. A large problem in the field is that while many coronavirus species are known, there aren't complete genomes for all of these species. Given that SARS-CoV-2 is biochemically predicted to be able to infect over 80 species of mammal, this leads to the possibility of SARS-CoV-2 infecting one of these zoonotic animals and recombining with an endogenous coronavirus from that species. The recombined virus could then re-enter humans and cause a secondary pandemic. To better understand coronaviruses, the goal of Serratus is to discover new species of coronavirus. And to accomplish this, we are going to do an ultra-high throughput reanalysis of all data sequence read archive. That is 1.1 million samples or over 5 million gigabytes of data. To accomplish this, we have created a new type of alignment architecture called Serratus. This is a purpose-built architecture that is ultra-parallel and can dynamically scale to a theoretical 10,000 virtual CPUs. It is highly cost-optimized to do an analysis at this high scale. Currently, we can scale to about 1,000 vCPUs. Here, for example, is 440 simultaneous downloads from the SRA being aligned on 860 threads in Bowtie 2. Over this weekend, we have optimized the Serratus architecture to perform faster scale in and scale out, and therefore saving time and money in runtime. Bottom line is, we can process about 30,000 SRA accessions per day at a cost of 1.5 cents per accession. Most importantly, this method is both sensitive and specific for detecting coronaviruses. And in contrast to KMER-based methods, this is not only sensitive for detecting known coronaviruses, it will also detect viruses that are divergent from known sequences. Serratus is an ongoing project. We have completed 70,000 samples, making up the mammalian zoonotic reservoir for SARS-CoV-2. Next, we will be doing metaviromics and ultimately all SRA uh, RNA-seq libraries. The ultimate output of Serratus is a database of all novel and known coronavirus sequences in the SRA, with a scheduled release date of July 1st. To give you an example of the kind of discoveries that can be made by Serratus, I'd like to introduce you to Frank the Bat. Frank lives in Peru, likes to hang out, and is a total sucker for llamas. In the metagenomic sample from Frank, we were able to discover a completely new species of coronavirus. When we blasted this coronavirus sequence, its closest ancestor was human coronavirus NL63 at 70% identity. That's about a few hundred years divergence, so it's pretty far out there. This is highly encouraging because this means that not only are we finding known species of coronavirus, we also have the ability to find completely new species. The goal of Serratus is to discover new species of coronavirus quickly and to release them into the public. This will have important applications for improving the specificity of diagnostic primers as well as aiding the development of vaccines. Thank you all for your time and to everyone who has helped contribute to Serratus. If you're interested in Serratus, reach out. We're always looking for new collaborators.